guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, everyone, another manga chapter review. This is going to be for the kid I saw in my dreams, the second uh, chapter review for this one. This is going to be a good one, guys. I, I really do ha or have enjoyed this series so far. Uh, there's only a few chapters in this volume, but uh, here's the second one. Uh, we get a little background story on our main character, Senri, and uh, essentially... This second chapter starts in a flashback. But before I continue, guys, I do want to say a few things. One, if you have not done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys want to know when I go live, when I upload videos. Uh, also, if you guys have not checked out the first chapter review, go check that out. As well as all my other manga reviews. I have quite a bit of uh, manga series that I'm reviewing. So go check those out. And then lastly, uh, I do want to say there is a uh, spoiler alert on this chapter because I will talk about it in some detail. Okay, here we go. Um, again, the writer for this series, for those uh, who are wondering why am I so excited for this series, it's the same writer that, that wrote the series of Erased, and Erased was a great hit a few years ago, um, I think people are still talking about it now, uh, at least some people are, and uh, anyways, great series, the writer came out and did another, uh, I think, great series as, as well, as for the kid I saw in my dreams, and uh, he's done other stuff. Uh, but this one is very similar to the same morbid type of uh, theme Erased had. So, anyways, we get a flashback from Senri, and we find out that Senri is actually, uh, or, or was, a twin. And uh, the beginning of this chapter, he declares that his brother, Kasuto, was murdered by this man that he saw on TV in the previous uh, episode. Sorry, <laughs> chapter anyway so Senri having this flashback when he was a little kid and essentially what they would do is Kasuda would put Senri in a closet and lock him up and Kasuda would go and try to defend their mother from being abused by their alcoholic father um, and uh, he would end up being beat up at the end of the day so the reason they would lock one of them up in the closet and usually it was Senri it was because once one of them would get hurt, the other twin would file the same pain on the area that was hurt, and they would also uh, see different stuff uh, that of what was going on. So they would share the pain and the right side. So um, this happened frequently. So much as Sinri felt bad that Kasuda had to be the one that uh, had to endure all the pain. Uh, even though they shared it, you know, obviously he had to be part of it. Um, and so Sinri always wanted to be the one that did not get locked up. But anyways, the whole mindset behind that was if they both get hurt, then it will be twice as much of a pain. Uh, towards the end of the flashback, we get finally what happened. Uh, and essentially what happened was one day when Sinri got locked up, he didn't feel pain. He didn't feel any anything for a long time and didn't know what was going on. Then he heard weird shouts and uh, weird arguing that he hadn't heard before and then weird sounds and then no more talking so he immediately then felt a pain in his arm heavy pain that he had never felt before uh, so badly that he felt like his arm was being ripped off and he finally was able to break through the door that were in the closet that he was locked up in and found out no, he stood in the pool of blood. It's kind of the same scene that we got in the first chapter of his parents, both dad and mom, dead. Then he finally got a shared uh, eyesight of his brother, and that was him being placed in a room and holding his arm. And that's about it. He says, you know, that was the second to the last time I shared a vision with my brother, uh, with my twin brother. And so we haven't seen the last vision yet. The flashback ends, and he is on his way to looking for this guy. He goes to the factory uh, to find out where he is. The factory tells him he had quit a while back, uh, a week ago, and that they hadn't heard of him. He he didn't have you know any information on him. Uh, he finds someone that worked closely to him and goes out to eat with that person and gets an address of where he might be. He then goes to the place where uh the address where he is a dump may i say and uh finds out that the person that was 
there was in this abandoned area and there's tape all over it from cops and sees that the person that had been living there or staying there at least was um, had deceased so anyways person is dead now is it the same person I don't know I'm not really sure uh, that's just what they said uh, on the chapter it could be that this person is really a mastermind and planted a dead person there and just made everyone believe that it was him I could be wrong but essentially he came to a dead end another dead end where his uh, murderer of his family members um, you know, is still on the loose or dead, so he has no revenge anymore. So, anyways, uh, this chapter did a lot of great things to this series. One, obviously, giving us a background story on Senri and why he has these anger issues and why he can sustain this pain that he's going through, um, as well as showing what he cares about. He explains in the chapter that he doesn't care for his parents, he doesn't really care that his dad and mom died. Because the dad was abusive and uh, an alcoholic, and his mom wouldn't really care for them. He just, she just kind of was there and being beat up, and he didn't really care for his mother and mother, mother and father. Sorry, uh, he only cared for his brother Casudo, and who was killed, murdered, according to this chapter. So, anyways, um, it's a great setup chapter. Um, Obviously, a lot of these chapters that have a lot of info, they're, they're needed. They're needed in stories like this, but this writer does it in a good way where even though we're receiving all this information, he doesn't do it in a boring way. and We still feel in some type of suspense and not feel like, okay, let's get over this information to the next chapter. So, overall, great chapter. I think 7 out of 10 for now is still a great rating. Make sure you guys check it out. Uh, I will be releasing, I think, up to Chapter 7. I have uh, Chapter... I think they have five chapters in this volume. Uh, yeah, five chapters in this volume. And then there's, there's two other translated online. So I'm going to be releasing those for you guys uh, pretty soon. So make sure you keep up with this uh, re these reviews. Uh, hopefully, I'll post more of them throughout this next week that I'll be out uh, traveling in my vacation. So just be aware that I, I will be out. Uh, for a few days so thank you guys so much for your love and support if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel hit that bell button if you guys don't mind you'll be notified when i go live when i upload videos follow me on my social media tiktok and twitter are the main ones that i'm uh, active on uh anime reviews 7-eleven anime reviews 7-eleven is my at sign uh there on those both social media so anyways thank you guys for your love and support and like always don't be strangers